This is GMAT 41. GMAT 41 is always committed, making learning fun, easy, homely, and targeted. Here on the board, we've got this UNISIC exam question. We're going to deal with this. It's a mathematics problem. Find the YDX of the circle centered at 3,4 with radius 3 units. We've got the options here. Now, how do we solve this problem? Simple, just a two-step work. First, determine the equation of this circle and then proceed to differentiate the equation of the circle. We are given the center, so we can say that minus g, comma, minus f is equal to 3, comma, 4. What does this tell us? It simply means that g is equal to minus 3, and then f is equal to what? Minus 4. Minus g is equal to 3, g will now be minus 3. Minus f is equal to 4, f will now be minus 4. Now we're given the radius to be equal to 3 units, as you see there. Now remember, the equation of a circle is given as what? The equation of a circle is given as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So all we just have to do is to get that equation of a circle. We know our g already. We know our f. I will quickly have to get c. Now how do we obtain c? Recall that c is equal to, these are to get that c, you know, the constant you have in that equation of a circle. g squared is going to give us 9 plus f squared is going to give us 16 minus r squared is going to give us 9. And of course, our c is equal to 16. Therefore, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx. And what is our g? Our g is minus 3. If you multiply it by 2, you are going to get minus 6. So this becomes minus 6x. Come to plus 2fy, 2 times f. Our f is minus 4. If you multiply minus 4 by 2, that's going to be minus 8y. Then plus c. Our c is 16. Make it equal to 0. This is the equation of the circle. And now we are looking for dy dx. Differentiate this equation of the circle. This is an implicit function. Our dy dx is simply equal to minus, open bracket, differentiate this function with respect to x, and then differentiate the function with respect to y, partially. Doing the first, you're going to get, we're going to divide this by, again, differentiate this function, this equation of the circle, partially with respect to y this time around to get the denominator. Factorize that too. This is going to give you, and of course, this is the value of our dy dx. The correct answer is option A. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe to GMAT 41's YouTube channel. Become a channel member. To learn more about circle and its equation, click on the related video just below.